Sorry for not updating last week. I was on a trip to Boston, so I couldn't do anything. But enough of that, let's talk about new Getter Robo. First, some backstory. Getter Robo was, along with Mazinger Z, one of the granddaddies of the giant robot genre. Introducing the first combining mecha along with a strange energy source like spiral energy from Guru Logon as a power source. I'll admit, I've never read any of the manga or watched any of the animes before this point, so I went into New Getter Robo completely blind. It was supposed to be a starting point for people who wanted to know more about Getter Robo, so I thought, why not? I watch it and it's. uh. less than satisfying. The story is about Ryoma Nagare. A complete psychopath who enjoys killing and seriously injuring people, who is recruited by Dr. Sautaman along with two other guys named Hayato Jin, an even bigger psycho than Ryoma, at least at first, and Beike Musashibo, who lost his sensei to pilot a mecha called the Getter in order to fight the forces of the Oni, an evil force intent on destroying everything. However, there may be more to Dr. Sautaman and the Getter than meets the eye, and things start to get complicated later on. The animation is decent. Nothing extraordinary, but nothing horrible either. The best part of the series is the music. More specifically, the theme song done by Jam Project. It's one of the most awesome songs I've ever heard and I've always looked forward to hearing it. The rest of the music is kind of generic though, but nothing too memorable. The English dub on the other hand, it's not the worst dub I've ever seen, but it's still sucky. The worst one being Let's Lang is Ryuma. Let's Lang just doesn't do a very good job, feeling like a poor substitute for Kyle Eber and just sucks. Everyone else is sort of passable, though I hesitate to call them good. The series suffers from one major problem. This problem is what ruins the series. Basically, the entire plot of this anime is a streamlined version of the events from the various Getter Robo series, from the original to Armageddon. There's nothing wrong with that, but this is told over 13 episodes. Because of this, there's little room for character development or anything before stuff happens for no adequately explained reason. Like, for example, Hayano is introduced as even a bigger psycho than Ryoma, trying to take over the Getter for his own purposes, but very quickly becomes calmer and less psychotic. This change comes completely out of nowhere and isn't very consistent. During the arc where the three pilots are sent to a parallel dimension, Ryoma meets a woman and initially doesn't really care about her or rebellion against the Oni in that dimension. But then later on, despite nothing happening to ensure it, he later mourns the woman's death as if he cared about her. And then there's the gigantic plot hole that is never explained. If the Oni are coming because they want to destroy the Getter, why don't the guys just destroy it? I mean, there was nothing to indicate the Oni would continue even if they did destroy it. So why didn't they? Anyway, New Getter Robo kinda sucks. The only good thing about it is the theme song. And that's really it. I'm sorry if you do like this show, but hey, it's just my opinion. Anyway, see you later on the next Mecha Anime Reviews.